birthday. Yeah. You know, the afternoon won't be so bad. Afternoon won't be so bad. It actually might be some, you might see some sun actually. Hey, hey. And warm temperatures if you like that. Uh, now right now you can see that the last bit of our rain has kind of moved off into Louisiana. We're seeing some cloud clearing, thankfully. That'll continue into the afternoon hours as well. So like Mariah was saying, if you have birthday plans, Cinco de Mayo plans, any plans really outside will be nice, despite the humidity. So if you like, if you don't mind the humidity, then that's the only thing you really have to deal with. It'll be hot, it'll be humid, but overall, not a bad afternoon to get outside. Right now in Tyler, it's about 65 degrees. We're still covered in clouds here. Dew points at 62, so definitely humid. Winds are pretty calm though, at only about three miles per hour. That kind of makes the clouds move a little bit slower, but we'll still clear out today. Now, currently temperatures are warmer this morning than we've seen for a long time. Now, you see some 71 degree temperatures in there, some upper 60s, um, more southern parts of East Texas were also warming up, but we still have Jacksonville, Rust, Cushing, Mount Enterprise at 63, as well as Center, San Augustine at 65. But in deeper parts of East Texas, Crockett Kennard are at 68, and then brought us and Huntington as well as Lufkin at 67. So overall, not a bad morning to start your day. Now, this is about 5 p.m. You can see our temperatures definitely warm up, but this isn't why I wanted to show you this. These are the storms that are gonna move into our area. You can see them kind of fire up out to our west. And then as they move into East Texas, they're already starting to weaken a little bit. You can see as right as they get to our Western counties, we've got about three smaller cells. As they move further east, you can really see them fall apart by about midnight. We've got one in Marshall and a real small one in Linden, if they even make it that far. Then as they move out of East Texas, they really just completely fall apart. By 2 a.m., we are dry. We've got nothing but clouds in the sky and those southern winds, once again, that are just pumping in the moisture and that humidity, it's really going to stick around for the next day as well. Now, this marginal risk, that's where you saw those storms that kind of moved into our area. Um, that's our only threat of severe weather or severe thunderstorm risk, I should say, um, that we have today, just because when those storms move from the west into our area, they still could be a little bit stronger, but you saw as they move further to the east, they really just fall apart, so we shouldn't have to deal with them any later than that. Now, once again, our high temperatures today, we could make it to our first 90 degree day of the year. So it'll be a mix of sun and clouds. We'll definitely feel those summer-like temperatures across the region, but it's gonna be humid. So I hope you don't mind the humidity. Maybe a hair up kind of day because you'll be sweating and your hair will be frizzy, especially if you have curls like me and Mariah, it's gonna be hectic. Now, Saturday, also a 90 degree day. Sunday, we start to cool off just a little bit into Monday as well, but those warm temperatures, they don't go anywhere just yet. They'll stay with us throughout the next seven days as well. You can see warm afternoon today, evening storms, and that trend just continues throughout the week. You'll have warmer days, even warm mornings, which is nice. You don't have to worry about taking a jacket or a coat and peeling off your layers later in the day, but you do have those evening and afternoon storms to deal with throughout the rest of the week. Now, once again, you'll have the day that'll be nice, but just those storms that'll roll in and cause some louder thunder maybe in the afternoon 